How dare you? You made it pretty clear you didn't want us, so we had to make our own entertainment. Well, then, since you're so pleased with each other's company, you may leave my house this moment. Oh, please, my lady, don't dismiss me. I've never done anything like that before, and I never will again. Not in my house, you won't. Because you won't spend one more moment in it. What you do outside of it is no concern of mine. You can do it in the street like dogs for all I care. Corder? Where's Corder? Diana, wait! How dare you speak to me, you little whore? Have you forgotten who I am and what you are? The love of your life. You said I was the love of your I life. Say, hearts and flowers. <laughs> Listen to the little liar. Corder! What an end to it all. What are we to do? Oh, you'll be all right, I suppose. Go back to your family and spin in some tale about where you've been. No, I won't go back there. I couldn't. I couldn't let them see me like this. We're in the same boat then, aren't we, miss? Don't you have any cash about you at all? What's in the bag? Clothes. The boys' clothes I brought with me when I first came. Well, then. What, you mean we should put them on and pass as jinx? No, I mean we should sell them. Sell them? Well, it's that or sell ourselves, I reckon. Don't want to spend a night in the open, do you? Come on, miss. It's all right, miss. Men and women is separate. So from luxury and a four-poster bed, I had come to this. But I had Zena. And a little money now. Come on, hurry up. Lie close, miss. For the warmth. You mustn't call me miss anymore. You must call me Nan. We're equal now, aren't we? If only Diana hadn't come in when she did. It was fun, though, wasn't it? Till she came and spoiled it. It's always fun before they catch her. It won't be so bad, will it? We've got each other now. We might make a go of it, don't you think? <coughs> yes, I had lost my place of privilege, but I had found something better, I told myself. I had found a good pal in Zena Blake. Morning. You're a good sleeper. <laughs> Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where's my friend? Where's my friend? She went hours ago, dearie, before it was light. I saw her. I saw her go. And you never stirred a whisker. <laughs> Zena had gone and taken our meagre funds with her. Spare some change, sir. Spare a penny for a cup of tea, sir. For the first time for over a year, I found myself longing for home. I thought of the warmth of the oyster parlour, mother's cooking, father's jokes. But I didn't have so much as a Tutney bus fare. And how could I let them see me like this? But I had to find somewhere or starve on the streets. And during that long night, it came to me. There was a place where I'd been made to feel at home. <laughs> Mrs. Mill! Mrs. Mill! Gracie! Gracie! Mrs. Mill! Yeah? Mrs. Milne, Gracie, they used to live here. Where have they gone? Couldn't say. The lady before me took her back in November, and her sister came and took her back to live with her. Mm. But where? where? Bristol, Bristol Bar, Bar. Dunno. Dear girl, 
You have been in the wars, haven't you? I have. And that's not all. I've got nowhere to live and nothing to eat and not a penny to buy bread. Well, we've got nothing to spare, so it's no use hanging around here begging. You'll get nothing by it. Wait, mister. There was a girl who lived over there with her mother, name of Florence. Oh, she's been gone this past year. Moved to Quilter Street and Bethnal Green, I think. Bethnal Green? But that's miles from here. Best I can do. Been in the wars, all right, poor girl. Look at that cheek. And someone's cropped her hair. Prison, do you reckon? They cropped the poor girls very short there, don't they? Or, or one of your reformatory girls. She's pretty near half dead, whoever she is. Oh, look out, she's, she's waking up. Oh, there, miss. There we go. You feeling a bit better? There's no need to fear, you know. You, you're among friends here. Yeah, yeah, let's help you out. Give us a hand here, Flood. There we are. I'll make you a nice cup of something hot. Would you like that? Oh, yes, please. Thank you. It's very kind. You're both very kind. Would it make you very ill to tell me why you've come here? I met you once, a long time ago. Don't you remember? Yes. I remember. You left me sitting in that cafe. You made me feel a fool. I'm sorry. It was... I can't explain. Please don't send me away. Why should you go to such a lot of trouble to find me now? I couldn't think of anyone else I could go to. And I just always remembered you. I thought you'd remember me. I made a mistake. Didn't expect to find you like this. You've changed, I think, with a baby and everything. Here we are, then. Oh, she looks better already, doesn't she, Florence? Ralph, this lady's a friend of Miss Darby's. That lady I used to work for. Oh. I'm afraid I've forgotten your name. It's Nancy Astley. Miss Nancy Astley. Pleased to meet you, Miss Nancy Astley. You're very welcome. Thank you. Thank you. That cheek still looks very sore. I expect you're wondering how I came by it. It was a man with a ladder on the street. Now I can't tell a lie. 
truth is I've been living with someone and they've thrown me out and kept all my things and I had such handsome things. A gentleman, I suppose. Yes. You must think me very wicked, but he... He said I was the love of his life. He was as rich as anything. He could do what he liked. He did what he liked with me. He used to like to make me dress up as a boy in a soldier's suit. They're the worst of the lot when they go bad, the rich ones. They think their money gives them the right to treat people like toys. I'm a socialist, Miss Astley, and we're working to try and put a stop to all that sort of thing. You ain't in trouble, are you? No. I was. But the gent fixed that when he... when he beat me. Oh, well, Miss Astley, if you truly have nowhere, it won't hurt for you to stay the night with us. Just one night. And tomorrow, I'll help you find a proper lodging. But I've no money to pay. Well, then I'll help you find work as well. I had thought and hoped Florence was a Tom like me. But here she was, married with a child, and so stern and serious and thoughtful. He was kinder to me than she was. And there was nothing more in it than kindness. I was sure of that. Gentle as Jesus he was. And her working, working for her friendless girls, no doubt, and never looking at the friendless girl who lay in her armchair, almost too weak to move. Ashley. Hope to see you feeling better in the morning. Good night, and thanks for all your kindness. You do understand, don't you, that it's just for one night? It won't do to have you stay any longer. If the girls at the hostel heard about it, they'd all be clamouring. If she can stay with the family, then why shouldn't we? Yes. I can see that. I suppose. Now, have you got everything you need? Privy's out back, as you know. Ralph will be up and out of the house by six. I'll get up a bit later. But you'll have to leave the house when I do at eight. You do understand that? Yes. You've been so kind to me when really you hardly know me at all. And your husband. Good night, then.